Children with Tourette syndrome make involuntary sounds and movements called ticks. And these ticks can be very distracting and distressing and can make everyday life a real challenge. But what if you could turn down those ticks? That's what researchers at the University of Calgary are trying to do for Brain Awareness Week. Frank McMaster and Cynthia Call are here to tell us all about it. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Thanks so why don't we start just with the definition. So what exactly is Tourette syndrome? Tourette syndrome is a disorder that affects children and adults. And it's where you make those semi-controlled, semi-involuntary kind of noises, movements that uh, can end up interfering with your functioning in everyday life. Mm -hmm. uh, you can imagine if you know you had the compulsion to say a particular word over and over again or to move your arm a certain way, how difficult that would be to function in like a classroom environment. Sure, sure. How common is it? It affects about 1% of youth and there's about 80,000 Canadians affected across uh, the country. Uh, with Tourette syndrome, so it is fairly common actually for a neurological uh, condition like that. Right. So, what are the current treatment options that are available? What can you do for these kids currently? The current treatment options are, are unfortunately fairly limited. Uh, most uh, involve uh, medications which carry pretty significant side effects, some of them, mm -hmm. and have limited effectiveness. The other one is uh, behavioral therapies, which unfortunately don't work as well in the younger kids because they're just so young, they have a harder time learning how to suppress those tics, sure. which is the key component of the behavioral therapies. So there really is a need for something new right. to, to happen. Right. And this is where Cynthia comes in. So Cynthia, you're really researching this right now. You're working on some new stuff. Tell us all about it. All right. Well, thanks to funding agencies like Branch Out, Neurological Foundation, the Hotchkiss Brain Institute, NCHR, we're able to do this absolutely amazing uh, research at the University of Calgary and the Alberta Children's Hospital. So my research is using this non-invasive form of brain stimulation called transcranial magnetic stimulation, uh, which uses a magnetic field to modulate what we believe to be the problematic region of the brain in Tourette syndrome. So we're using this brain stimulation to kind of calm down that area that's overactive in this disorder to, in hopes of helping these kids gain more control over their tics. Right. Yeah. You did a wonderful pitch on this, and mm -hmm. it seemed really straightforward. You know, I kind of got exactly what you were trying to do in this short amount of time. But what is it that you really hope you could do sort of in the long term for some, you know, children with this? Well, I mean, the big thing right now is uh, that this, this disorder is incredibly misunderstood and stigmatized. So a big first goal is to educate people on the disorder to, so that there is less bullying, so that people don't misunderstand it and, you know, make these kids suffer even more because the, the quality of life outcomes are pretty poor in kids who do get bullied for this social discrimination against the tics. And I think the secondary goal would be to kind of, instead of doing a head-to-toe numbing, just kind of find the source of the problem and target it directly and then even optimize it for individuals. So based on their tics, if they have more vocal tics, if they have more motor tics, to see if we can treat those specifically to help those kids better. That sounds great. It's that whole idea of that personalized medicine and that targeted therapy, isn't it? It's really taking it to the next level of being able to target exactly the, the, the right place in the right child at the right time to help them really get their childhood back so they can go out and play, go to school, have fun with their friends, all that sort of good and stuff. And learn and hang out and be a regular kid. Yeah. So how feasible is this? Like, could we get all of the kids <clears throat> that have Tourette in, into this kind of stimulation? Well, it, the way science works, we, we have to go through this first kind of initial study phase to get an idea of just how effective it is. Mm -hmm. And then other groups have to replicate, repeat what we've done to prove that it, that it works. And then it is a matter of uh, actually just working with the healthcare system to institute it for uh, people across uh, the country and beyond. And it's something that we've already been doing on the, the depression side with brain stimulation. Right. So we've, we've actually got experience in that. Wow. So it looks like it might be coming down the road. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you both so much for telling us all about it. And good Thank luck you. to all of you. That's great.